Hello everyone, it's Paul with TutorU. If you notice, I'm a little bit bigger than what I normally am in my videos. Usually I'm off down in one of these corners. Uh, and the reason for that is like, I want to be talking to you personally, okay? Because what we're gonna be talking about today is actually a pretty important topic. It is, should I drop out? And now that is, should I drop out of high school? or and should i drop out of college right so i have had experiences with both of those situations uh when i was younger i really considered dropping out of high school i had a terrible gpa i had a 1.6 gpa that's what i graduated high school with and i did drop out of college a couple of times throughout my entire college career it was quite an extended career uh both of those situations are incredibly emotional and scary and all of those types of feelings kind of come rushing through you when you are thinking about those things okay uh a little bit about my past a little bit more about my past i have spent the last three years working in adult education and there i've had direct contact with people that have dropped out or are considering dropping out of high school so this video is going to be for those people, but it can also really apply to anybody, okay? Uh, to, to anybody that's dropping out of college or any of those types of things, okay? I want to just sit here and hang out. I want you to imagine that we are in my office. I get this cool little background, but uh, I want you to imagine that we're sitting down in an office and we're just having a conversation, okay? And you've just told me, that you are thinking about dropping out okay so the the first thing that we have we have a, a few questions that i have a few questions i want to ask you okay so the first one is uh am i going to finish my education in a year okay so are you are you a senior in high school or uh are you in your fourth year i mean i know how college gets you might be in your fifth year of whatever degree you are going into and you are not sure if you can finish because of just all of the craziness in your life and everything that is going on around you. So am I going to finish my education in the next year? That's the first question. And if you, if you answer yes to that, I would, I would really pause, take even extra time to think about whether or not it is correct to be dropping out. Uh, maybe you just need to take a break, you know? There's not a massive difference between finishing in a year and a year and a half. So if you have to, if, you, if you're in college and you need to take a semester off, that's the best thing for you. You need to, you need to think about that, right? Um, the next question is, do I just need a short break? Then I, I'm prepared to go back and finish. So exactly what I was just talking about. Maybe you just need a short break and then you can go back finish up your degree, whether that's in college. And then a lot of, a lot of kids in, uh, a lot of kids, young adults, I don't want to call them kids, young adults in high school, they don't think, they think that if they drop out, it's final, right? But that's not the case. Uh, in most scenarios, you can still go back. Uh, maybe there are just too many variables happening in your life. Uh, and so if you just need a short break to take care of yourself, then you need to do that, right? Uh, because that mental stress is going to continue to build up. Uh, and then this, this last question is the most important. And I believe in myself. This goes for whether you're going to drop out or not drop out. So can I believe in myself? Uh, so if you can, if you can believe in yourself, then both, both directions are going to be okay. You know, you are going to be all right. Uh, that's the worst part about it from my own experience is that there is this feeling of kind of hopelessness. Uh, at least that's what I felt. Um, so when you can believe in yourself, maybe, maybe you will feel hopeless for a little while. Uh, but if you can get yourself back up and believe that you're going to be okay, then you are going to be okay. Uh, and you will finish your degree or you'll be put on a path in your life that you weren't expecting. Uh, as long as you can keep that mentality, I believe in myself, you're going to be okay. 
uh, a little bit of added information for those students uh, that are dropping out of high school. On average, so on average, it takes about 30 hours to of studying time to pass the GED. And so if you are going to drop out of high school and get your GED, I would recommend you take a couple of week break, a, a mental health break, right? And then you go right into uh, getting your GED. Uh, like you just start hammering it out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised if you start it right away, how much of that stuff you can do and what you can remember, okay? So can I believe in myself? That's our third question. Uh, can I be responsible is our fourth question. This applies to everybody when you drop out. Being responsible after you drop out is is very, very important. Um, you You need to be responsible for bettering your life at that point, right? You kind of end up being on your own. Uh, unless you can find a really good support support structure. And that's the other part, is finding a good support structure and talking to people once you've, once you've finally dropped out. And if you want to talk to me, I'll gladly talk to you. Okay? Uh, I, I, if you're hanging out watching this video, consider yourself one of my friends. Okay? Uh, I, I am here to help you out. If you want to chat away in the comment section or if you want to private message me, I think there's some way you can do that. Um, go ahead and do it. I will, I will try to get back to you because you need to have a support structure. You need to have somebody there when you are feeling completely hopeless and let you know that uh, it's going to be okay. So those are, those are my, big, my big questions to you. Uh, so one, am I going to finish my education within a year? Two, do I just need a short break? Then I'm prepared to go back to school. Number three, can I believe in myself? And number four, am I responsible? Okay. Can I be responsible for what takes place afterwards? Uh, the thing I want to leave you on is you are going to be okay no matter what. Okay. Maybe life is a little bit too crazy right now. But you have to take care of yourself first. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anything else. Uh, and one of the quotes when I was feeling really down and I had a friend talk to me, kind of talk me off the ledge type of situation, uh, was, Paul, you can only eat an elephant a bite at a time. And I was pretty emotional at that time. And I'm just like, what are you talking about eating elephants? That's disgusting. But you can only eat an elephant a bite at a time. The problems in your life feel like elephants. And no matter what, you can only eat a bite of it at one time. So you have to be prepared for it to go slow. Okay? So eventually that problem will go away, uh, but it's going to take time. And that's what you need to be prepared for is the length of time it's going to take. So you can only eat an elephant a bite at a time. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching my video. Bye.